Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and replace the thermostat. You've got to take the hoses loose on both sides. I have already taken out the radiator, so this makes everything a little bit easier. Let's use the upper hose, pull that loose, and the same process with the lower, lower hose. Alright, so I'm going to uh, take the fan blades off just to make it easier to get to the thermostat. This isn't, I don't think this is a necessary step, but it's an easy step with the radiator removed. I'm just going to grab this, not by the blade itself, but kind of down here, and uh, using a T30 uh, socket, I'm just going to take these off. They're not super tight. Alright, with all three of the torque bolts removed, you can just lift the fan blades, and notice it's just the fan blades itself, nothing else out. Taking the actual clutch out requires some special tools and is a little bit more work. Alright, now I have more room to work. I've got to unbolt this and I'll get to my thermostat. So to remove this, you really just take a couple bolts. There's a 10 millimeter one there. And a 10 millimeter one right there underneath it. And another right there. So on the underneath side. And one last larger. 13 millimeter one right here. You also need to loosen this top bolt right here, which is also the larger 13 millimeter size, because this bracket here actually kind of sits on top of the thermostat housing and can be hard to get out without it. With the last bolt off, the thermostat housing should just pull right off. There it is. With the thermostat cover off, you can now get at the thermostat, and you can just kind of pull that out. Don't pry on the actual engine block, but you can usually just kind of tweak the thermostat. It's just pressed in there. All right, I've taken off the thermostat cover here, uh, and the old thermostat. It was really stuck on there. Uh, you'll notice that the thermostat cover I have is aluminum. Uh, BMW makes them with uh, plastic, which is kind of a bummer, but you can get these aluminum covers uh, for cheap, and that way they won't, are not so prone to cracking and getting brittle and that sort of thing. So it's, uh, it's definitely a worthwhile upgrade when you're doing this. Um, now, here's the new thermostat. It's a, uh, an OEM thermostat. Uh, didn't want to uh, save money on something that uh, was as important as a thermostat. Uh, most parts on all E36 cars are the same, but uh, with the thermostat, they actually changed the temperature of the thermostat halfway through. So on the uh, later E36 cars, like my 98, uh, it requires a 32 degree thermostat. Um, but some of the earlier ones require uh, a slightly different, slightly cooler one. So you just have to pay attention to that. Uh, now there is an arrow on the top of this thermostat. Uh, you always want to install it with that arrow or the mark facing up. So it's going to go in like this. It's also worth pointing out that you should try and get this and the thermostat housing as clean as possible so it forms a good seal. Now, in addition to the thermostat, you'll need this small seal which goes in here. There we go. So that fits right in there for that part. The thermostat has its own seal and then you just put the cover
cover back on. So we will just go ahead and bolts back on. And the water hose is back on. And we'll be set. Remember there's one larger bolt for some reason. And that's this one right here. And then the three other ones are the same size. Get, get them started by hand, tighten it all down, and when you're tightening them down, the larger bolt requires uh, 22 newton meters, and all three of the smaller ones are torqued at 10 newton meters, if you're interested.